Working with arrays in Java can be difficult because they have a fixed size, so it's not so easy to add or remove items. So Java provides a class called ArrayList that provides many useful methods for dealing with the collection of data. An ArrayList is an abstract data type, an ADT implemented as a generic class and supports different data types. An ArrayList is declared as follows, where T is the data type. ArrayList, set of angled brackets with the data type in the middle, then the name of the array list, and you assign that to new array list, another set of angled brackets with the data type, and then the parentheses. So here are some commonly used array list methods. There's the add method, which adds a new element to the array list. There's remove, which removes the first occurrence of the element. Get will return the element at the specified index. Set will replace the element at that index with the new element you provide. The size method returns the number of elements in the array list. Is empty returns true if the array list is empty or false otherwise. And clear just simply removes all the elements of the array list. So let's try some of these methods out and build an array list. Class array list demo. In the main method, I'm going to create an array list of strings. Array list. And then we put string inside the angled brackets. Let's call it list and assign that to new array list string again in the angle brackets and parentheses. And then I'm getting an error because I need to import array list from java.util. So let's click on the quick fix to get the import statement at the top. So now I created an array list. By default, the size is 10. And every time you go past the size of an array list, it'll increase by 50% every time. So you don't have to worry about setting the fixed size like you do with regular arrays. So let's make our list a grocery list and add some groceries to our array list. List.add and then you can start typing whatever strings you want in the parentheses. Serial. List.add. Milk. List.add. Let's add some bacon. And let's add one more thing. List.add beer. All right. And let's just use a simple for loop to loop through and print out the items in this array list. For int i equals zero, i is less than list dot and notice that for regular arrays we did the array name dot length, but for array list we do array name dot size method to get the size of the array. I plus plus and we'll simply say system dot out dot print line list dot get index I. So there's no square brackets involved with array list, just method calls. And we loop through and here is our list. Now let's try something. Let's do list dot remove and let's remove milk. Rerun the program and notice that milk got removed. All the indexes got updated in the array list. The size changed, and it was pretty easy to just simply remove milk. Let's do something else. List dot clear. Rerun it. Now we get nothing. The list is empty. So let's remove that to get our original list back, and let's do this. List dot set. Let's pick an index. So we know that milk is gone. So bacon is index one. Let's replace bacon with hot pockets. Okay, rerun the program and it got updated. So array, array lists are pretty easy to use as you can see. And another thing that I should point out is that if you wanted to make an array list of integers, you need instead of typing int in there, which won't work, you need to type the wrapper class version of integer, which is integer. And the same thing for double character. You need the wrapper class version of that data type and the angled brackets to create array lists of that type. So here is an array list of doubles. Array list double, let's call it prices equals new array list double. Don't forget the capital letter. And one other thing, since we're on the topic, so here's our three things and they're not alphabetically sorted but here's something that you could do and I'll explain this much later on in a different video 
but you could sort an array list very easily by saying collections dot sort then pass the name of your list which is already called list rerun the program and now check this out beer cereal and hot pockets are now alphabetical order with this line of code and that's it for array lists so thanks for watching